This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's Got a good time. Halfway through the week. Yeah, we, yeah. we you, know, you know what? It depends on how you like it. Yeah. You're either like, yay, or then you're like, ooh. Tell me halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> We're glass half full kind of girls. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We've got some great music coming up in the show. Our first group of artists, amazing. We got Fink, Markser, and Gleaves. They're on our Music City Light stage. Such a fun trio. And they came together in a really unique way. They have a new album out, and they're going to perform in just a few minutes. And later on, a live performance from two of the members of the group Bird Talker. They're hanging out with us. We got, oh, there they are. Hey. <laughs> All right, they've had tons of success through online streaming and they've released their first full-length album, which we're really pumped about. We get to hear some of their stuff coming up. So fun, and we're smoking in our Super Home Surplus kitchen. We've got Voodoo Smokehouse here and they're making... Oh, oh look at that! Just, let's have a moment. That's a moment. I love that. It is a Caribbean pork bello burger. So this burger is really, really yeah. special. It's entered into a James Beard contest with, you know, James Beard's like the Oscars of food. Right. So we've got all these details on how you can help them get to the next level in this contest. I think it's really, really cool. You get to vote. So this is really cool. We've got all the details on that coming up. And then, you know, speaking of barbecue, if you don't want to spend hours in the kitchen getting prepped for a backyard cookout, we have some local spots that are ready to help you out. Style Blueprint is showing off great local finds. Look at that spread. That help you throw the BBQ bash that you wanted to from the beginning. The barbecue of your dreams. Don't we all sort of have this vision of how it's yeah, going to go? And it never you go, does. it's going to be great, honey. We're going to have everybody come over. It's and the so next thing you know. easy peasy. And then it falls apart. Do you forget ice? I saw sangria <laughs> in a can. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Lot, brilliant. Lots to learn on this show. Yes. And later on, we are sitting down with best-selling author Eric Geiger. He's written several popular books. Look at the title of this one. I like it. How to Ruin Your Life. How to Ruin Your Life. He's written so many Christian books. And this latest one of his is really powerful because we see so many people at the top of their game. And then they kind of have this fall, tumbles. right? And it yeah. tumbles. So he's going to kind of outline some things that each of us can be aware of the pitfalls before they happen. And if they do happen, how to bring yourself up. We talked about it. I said, so you're going to tell us how to ruin our lives and bring it back together in five minutes or less. And he said, yeah, basically that's what we're going to do. You know what? It's he's like such a cool cucumber. He could definitely tell us in five minutes how it all we're, works. We are all on board. Okay, so we all know teachers have a huge impact on the lives of their students. Well, now students and local at a local high school, they're returning the favor. And this is just an amazing story. Donations have been pouring in for the teacher and soccer coach at Independence High School mm -hmm. down in Williamson County. So what happened? to Josh Phillips recently is he learned his kidneys were failing and this was such a sudden thing found out randomly after testing his blood pressure wow now he's receiving dialysis treatment could have a kidney transplant later on in the year in the meantime a GoFundMe page was set up to help the family with the medical bills and wow did people come forward I love this some of the donors are current and former students now the page has already raised more than twenty four thousand dollars so far if you want to give just search out Phillips Family Medical that's on the GoFundMe.com page and we just wish them all the best I mean how scary you go in for a routine like my blood pressure's up and you find out that your kidneys are failing? Unbelievable. That's crazy. And well, how beautiful. I'm sure it's just warming his soul and his heart yeah. to know that students from the past and present and family are lifting him up. So sweet. That's Nashville. All I right. love it. Yeah, we're pretty cool. We like our city. <laughs> Here's a story for all you Elvis fans out there. If you fell in love with your significant other at Graceland during an Elvis week or maybe over an Elvis song, then listen up. Graceland is what? opening a new chapel. What? It's going to open on August 13th. So to celebrate, here's what Graceland is asking. Okay. Couples whose love story began with a king of rock and roll to join in on a big vowel renewal ceremony. Kind okay, of so you want to renew your vowels at Graceland? Kind of on How board. about that? Yeah. So in order to be considered, you submit a picture, share your story, email your information to love at graceland.com. This will be the 2000th wedding ceremony. 
oh. they have it at Graceland. That's How very cool. cool. That's very cool. I literally I went to Graceland and I was there doing something for a shoot, and I walked into the gift shop and my phone rang and they said we need you back on set. That's I got oh, to see the you, gift you shop. You got to see the gift shop. That was it. You know, when I, I never got to walk in the building. When I was a kid, of all the places my parents would take us, all these museums, you know, all I ever wanted was the gift shop. Just get me to the gift shop. Well, that is a true King story. Tut's tomb, that's great. Can I get to the gift shop? I mean, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> You're taking home the pyramid, the little pyramid keychain. And now as a parent, I'm like, no. No. No, you can't go there. No. Okay, so have you ever wondered how, wondered how the Duchess of Sussex keeps her youthful appearance? We're talking about Meghan Markle. She exercises her face. Facial yoga. Okay, now listen, my mom, Barb Chandler, is all about this type of Barb stuff. Chandler. Facial exercises, but they call it face yoga. Right. So you're basically massaging the muscles to de-stress and get circulation, and turns out there may be something to it. Yeah. Recent study found that 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes? Who's got 30 minutes to exercise their face? I mean, what? come on now. <laughs> <laughs> she just looks like she's touching her face. That doesn't look like exercise. I, I don't know. Look, Apparently I looked it's doing it up. something. I found some real exercise. Th that You're supposed chick, to do 30 minutes just, a day. She's just touching her face. I found real exercises. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. This one's called flirty eyes, and it's supposed to help if you have bags or if you've got wrinkles. Okay. So you hold your, like this, right? So you're holding it down. I'll just watch first. And then you look up, and you blink your eyes as fast as you can looking up. And it's supposed to help with what? all of these muscles. Yeah, do it. Ready? Yeah, and you know what? I can't. Do it. Barb Chandler programmed me at a very early age to be delicate well, underneath the eye. Well, you don't push eye hard. You don't push hard. Because this is the thinnest Just, tissue right, of the eye. She says the, only is the, the middle ring fingers. I know. Jan was right there with her. Okay, look. You do this, and I, then I can't do that part. You need to do this. Oh, I, you're going to have bags if you don't do this. I'm going to have bags anyway. This, that's called. And then there was one called the giraffe. And you do this with your mouth. And go like this on your neck. That actually feels good. That actually. So I have a friend whose mother. Um, I looked this up. Her face I looked it up. I'm not kidding. For ten minutes every night. Like Does this. It, will you only use your two fingers? These two, like your ring and your. I feel like this middle. is just torture. This and this would be up. awful. Ten All right. minutes. Try this. Keep going, kids. Mark your calendars. <laughs> Tickets go on sale this Friday for more than 100 concerts at the Nashville Symphony. How cool is this? Okay, so you can start buying tickets at 10 a.m. This includes everything from jazz to the pop shows. So if you want to buy your tickets to at least three concerts at once, oh. you'll get a discount. So if you yes. pick your favorite three, you will get a discount. I know you saw Kristen I, Chenoweth is coming. Yes, Kristen um, Chenoweth was coming. Um, Rolling sticks. Stones. Here are the ones that I picked. Yes. These oh, are my picks. You have a sheet. Symphony Under the Stars at Ascend Amphitheater which I think would be amazing. Kristen okay. Chenoweth with the Nashville Symphony. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I love her. The Music of the Rolling Stones with the Nashville Symphony. That's happening in November. In. Spanish Nights. Why not? Right. Dennis DeYoung and the Music of Styx. Yes. yes. Come sail away. Yes, yes, yes. That's in March. And then ABBA. Grand finale, Mr. Roboto. ABBA. ABBA. Love it. Mama I, you know what? I know. Can I just here I go again. I hate it Mama. so much. Yes, no, I love it. That's happening in and the May. The Today Show's doing this whole Mamma Mia thing. I love it, and it's it's just oh, Dancing Queen was, was my old. nickname for a long time. Well, now that I can get on board with. <laughs> just saying. But I don't know. There's something about ABBA that just oh, it get. It makes me happy. It makes me real happy. Well, you know what? It's good that we have differences. <laughs> It makes the world more interesting, doesn't it? So the Girl Scouts released its first ever video music video. How about this? It's called Watch Me Shine. And of course, this video has a local connection. It was shot in Nashville at Blackbird Studio. And it was created by an all-female team. The song was written by Grammy winner Liz Rose. She's, She's amazing. Amazing. She's done our show. We love her. She's worked with artists like Taylor Swift and Carrie Underwood. And she also wrote Girl Crush with her songwriting pals Lauren McKenna and Hillary Lindsay. So, so we this love Liz. thing has taken off. This yeah. video's taken off. It's Cute. been all over the world. There's it's like Liz. a girl anthem. Liz is like, this is how we're going to do it. I oh, she's her. just the best. Anyway, it's all over social media and girls talking about how it's impacted them and lifted them up. All right, guess what today is? National Hot Dog Day. It's National yeah. Hot Dog Day, friends. You know who does good hot dogs? Daddy's dogs. Daddy's dogs. Yeah. Here we go. Hold on. Wait, I got to show you Daddy's dogs. I've already Here in the nations. Ooh. So listen to what Daddy's dogs is doing. Yeah. 
So they're in the nations all day giving out a free hot dog at their location on Centennial Boulevard. Yep. One free hot dog per person. You're yep. going to have to buy your own 40 ouncer or the little tinies, these little mini party ones. Wow, you went in hard. I just, I I just like got a little, here, look, I cut one for you. I love this. All right. If you haven't been to Daddy's Dogs, right. honestly, it is pure joy. It started out as a food truck, so it, you may remember seeing the food truck around. Yeah. And um, my little son, Patrick, I took him to have a daddy's dog. And I, I really, I saw the change on his face. He's like, wow, it's real. He changed his life. One dog at a time. One. It's all parents can do. The really. fact that he brought us pony boys, pony, <laughs> high life. This is like, this is what dreams are made of, kids. Oh, my goodness. Right here. These two. I'm loving it. But you Make know, a trip to the nations. This is worth it. Free okay. hot dog. In addition to the Miller High Life ponies, you also have Tennessee Brew Works. Because they've taken care of us as well. Oh, a delivery here. Look at this. They have a new beer that they've been working on with City Winery. It is aged in Pinot Noir barrels, which How about makes me that? real happy. Look at these fancy little glasses they brought. Cheers to All that. All right, so we've got some video of the bottling process that they did with City Winery. So let's take a look. How cool is oh. this? Ooh, I like You're this. You're into it? I really like it. Here it comes, down the runway. Look at that. Take your little walk down the runway, Tennessee Brew Works. It's our Belgian strong ale mm -hmm. using the tap room at City Winery. It's limited at some retail locations. And you know how this works with Tennessee Brew Works. They're always coming up with new things. Right. And so um, you'll only have it for a limited time. There you go. So enjoy the joy. Cheers. While the joy is available. We should go sit down now. Don't you think? Well, I mean, or we can keep gorging ourselves on hot dogs. Well, I was kind Up of on board with that. All right, let's give a shout out to our friend. Let's just go over here. We're going to go sit down. <laughs> Radio Lunchbox. We love him. He's part of the Bobby Bones crew. He's a dad. Yay. <laughs> Hashtag baby box. So Lunchbox, who works on the Bobby Bones show, he's been on our show. He's so great. Friend of the show here. Just announcing the birth of a baby boy. That's so great. That is awesome. Congratulations. Yes. Big congrats to him. Cheers. Cheers to you, Lunchbox. Baby, baby box. box. Get ready.